And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a heartbeat effect. I've got this simple clip of a start in a card race and I want to add this heartbeat effect to it. I've got a heartbeat audio file, you will find that easily via yeah, Google search. Let me put it right there and I'll cut it with the cut tool C. And now I need a new item, so right click my project menu and adjustment layer. By default it has the size of my sequence so I can keep the defaults and I drag it into my timeline. Don't worry too much about the duration of it. Now go to the effects menu, type in transform and drag and drop it on the adjustment layer. So here it is in my effect controls. By the way, if you can't find these menus, just go to window, here's effects for the transform and effect controls. If you can't scale it uniform, just check this box and now I can scale with and hate at the same time. I go to the starting position and start the animation by clicking on this clock icon. And now I'll use the arrow keys to the right to go frames forward. In this case, I go to maybe three frames each. For the first one, I'll use a scale of 105 to make it a bit bigger. Then I go forward, this time three frames, and I go to 100. Once again, two to the right, then 110, and the last one is 100 again. So this creates this double pump effect, you could say. And maybe it's too intense, so let me go down with the values to 102 and 105, and the other ones are 100. I can keep them. And now it's a little bit more subtle. You also want to uncheck this box for use composition shutter angle and crank the shutter angle up to 360, which is the max, and this blurs it out whenever there's movement. And if I play it, that's exactly what I want. Now just reposition this slider up here in the timeline to a position where it fits the audio file. So in this case, this heartbeat. So every time we've got a spike in the audio, I wanna have an adjustment layer. So just hold Alt and then you can drag copies out of your adjustment layer and reposition them. And that's the best way to arrange it. And in the end, let me get rid of parts of it. When I've started, I don't want to have a heartbeat anymore, so let me delete that. In some cases, you want to add kind of like a red tint to it. Just type it into the effects menu, drag and drop it on the adjustment layer as well, and here's the tint. It should make your footage black and white. Just map the white to red. Click on OK and go down with the amount to tint to zero and the start. We want to have an animation at the starting position. Then jump forward to the pumping and then go a little bit up. Let's say 15% for the first pump. Then I go down to zero again. For the second pump, I'll go to 20, 25. And once again to zero for the last one. And now I once again have to copy it. So position the slider where the audio peaks are. And then hold Alt and drag copies out of your adjustment layer. And now let me play it. So you can keep the tint or you can get rid of it. It's up to you what you like best. But this is the way to create this heartbeat effect in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.